if you have some general function in calculus, that you need a lot of points to fully specify the function, you can get any number of graphs to say four or five points. In linear algebra, however, we have linear transformations. How many points and function values do we need to fully specify a linear transformation? Let's see in this example how, points, how many points we actually need. Here we have a linear transformation from R2 to R3. And only two points and its function values are given. The function value at 1, 2 and the function value at 2, 0. The question is, can I find with only this information the function value at, say, 4, 4? Well, let's see. First of all, we observe that we can write 4, 4 as a linear combination of 1, 2 and 2, 0. Because if I want to get the 4, 4, if I want to get a second 4, well, this 2, 0 won't help me much, so I will have to take twice 1, 2. And then I see I can write 4, 4 as twice 1, 2, which gives me the 4 over here. So we get a 2, 4, and in order to get 4, 4, I have to take once 2, 0. So now I've written 4, 4 as a linear combination of 1, 2 and 2, 0. Okay, but how does it help us? Well, the image of 4, 4 equals the image of 2 times 1, 2 plus 0, 2. Okay, fair enough. But then I still haven't gone, gotten any further. But now we can use the properties of linear transformations. We know that the, trans the image of 2 times 1, 2 plus 0, 2 equals 2 times the image of 1, 2 plus the image of 0, 2. You can split this all up because transformation T is a linear transformation. Ah, and that helps us because we know the transformation of 1, 2. T of 1, 2 equals 2, 3, 4. So we get the 2 times 2, 3, 4. And the image of zero, 2, 0 equals 4, 3, 2. So we get a 4, 3, 2 over here. And we can just add everything up. 4 plus 4 equals 8, 6 plus 3 equals 9, and 8 plus 2 equals 10. So the computation is not so special here, but what is really important to see is that even although we only have information about the image of, of two points, I still can find the image of a point which is completely different due to the linearity property used over here of the transformation T. Let's look at one other example. Transformation from R2 to R2, again linear transformation. And now the images of E1 and E2 are given. E1 equals 1, 0, and E2 equals 0, 1. And now the question is, can I find the image of 2, 3? Well, that really resembles this example quite a lot. And can we find the image of a general point, x1, x2? If we would be able to do this, then we can find the image for any point we like. Well, let's look at the 2, 3 first. Well, 2, 3 equals 2 times e1 plus 3 times 2. Then we can split it up again and 2 times 2 e1 plus 3 times t e2. And then we can plug in the numbers. So we get 2 times 1, 2 plus 3 times 4, 5, which yields 2 plus 12 equals 14. And 4 plus 15 equals 19. So indeed, we can find the image of 2, 3. Can we find the image of any original x1, x2? Well, let's see. The t of x1, x2 goes the same way. It yields x1 times the t of e1 equals 1, 2, plus x2 times the t of e2 equals 4, 5. And then if you give any original, you can find any image. So in this case, it suffices to specify the that only two points to fully specify the linear transformation. And that's a very interesting property of linear transformations. You do not need much information to, set to specify the full transformation, as we've seen in these examples.